Do you have goals but don't feel motivated to work on them? If you set goals but you don't feel motivated to achieve them, listen, there is nothing wrong with you. This is a common issue many people face every day. The reason? They either have lost the connection between their goals and them or their goals are simply not their main priority in their lives. The key is to identify what is the root causes of your lack of motivation and work from the core to get yourself motivated again. In this video, you will discover 5 common factors why you have goals but lack motivation and what you can do to overcome it. Hey there, this is Sean from stunningmotivation.com. If you are new here, support this channel by hitting the subscribe button right now. You will receive updates and more videos about success and turning your dreams into reality. Now. Let's talk about the reasons why you have no motivation toward your goals. Reason number one, your goals are not what you truly desire to achieve. This happened to me before. I set goals that I don't really want. When the goal you set is not what you truly desire, you will find it extremely hard to get motivated to work on it. Let me give you an example. I was influenced by my parents and thought that I wanted to be an engineer because my father is a contractor. As a result of the influence, I ended up graduating with a degree in civil engineering. But the truth is that I took the course because I thought that was what I wanted to be, an engineer. I love my life in the university, but I just don't like to study the subject that doesn't interest me. Fast forward to this present moment. Today, I'm a blogger a YouTuber and also an internet marketer and I get to talk about personal development every day because that's what I love doing and that's my core desire. This is what happens when you pursue a goal that you don't truly desire in life. You see, most people are influenced by the media and society at large. They set goals that they don't really want. When they see their friends bought a new, new pair of Nike shoe, they want to have the same shoe. When they see their friends drive a new car, they are influenced and want to have a new car as well. Chances are, people love to compare. And because of this, most people end up setting a goal that is not what they truly want to achieve. They set the goal because they think it is what they want. But deep down in their hearts, the goal is just a means to an end. So make sure the goals you set are the goals that you truly want to achieve in life. If your goals are not what you want internally, you will have a hard time keeping up with the momentum and coming up with the motivation to do it. But when your goals are what you truly desire to attain, you will have no problem feeling motivated to do the work and become committed to achieving them. Reason number two, you don't have a strong purpose for your goals. So ask yourself, why do you want to achieve the goal? Why do you set the goal in the first place? I bet you know your why is important, right? If your why for your goal is not strong enough, you will never feel the need to achieve the goal and you will never feel motivated to work on it. Let me show you an example. Imagine if I put a 10 inch wide and 30 foot long wood on the ground and ask you to walk across it. I will give you $50 if you do it. Will you do it? Of course, right? It is easy to walk across the wood plank and you will get $50 from me. Now, what if I take the same wood panel and put it between two 20 stories buildings, making it like a sky bridge, will you cross it for $50? No, not in a million years, right? But why? Because if you fall, you could die, right? The risk has been greatly increased. Now, what if your newborn baby is on the other side of the building and that building is on fire and the only way to get to your baby is to walk across the wood panel? What will you do? Will you now walk across a wood panel that is hanging 20 stories above ground between two buildings to save your baby? You will, right? And why is that? Because your why has changed. This is why your purpose is important. When you have a strong and emotional purpose for your goals, you will do whatever it takes to achieve the goals. Your why is the key reason for your motivation. When your purpose is clear and strong, you will have the motivation. So if you don't feel motivated to achieve your goals, maybe you should revisit your why. Reason number three, you don't believe you can achieve your goals. 
think about it. Do you truly believe you can achieve your goals? You don't have to answer me, of course. You just have to answer yourself in your heart. You see, when you don't believe something is possible, you will never have the motivation to pursue it. Why? The reason is simple. You don't believe that it is possible. So why even try, right? When you set a goal that you don't believe, you will not be committed to it. And this is why most people treat their goals like a hobby. They only do it when they feel like it. When you don't believe in something, you will never do it with commitment. Even if you do take action, you will do it with a half-hearted attempt. Just like starting a business. If you don't believe you will grow your business and make it successful, you will not do it with your best. Just like people who buy lottery tickets. They believe they stand a chance to win the jackpot. And that's why they go on and buy the ticket. If you 100% don't believe you can win, why bother buying a ticket, right? Therefore, if you find it extremely difficult to stay motivated for your goals, check your belief system. Find out if you truly believe in your goals. Reason number four, you are feeling overwhelming. Let me ask you, how many goals do you want to achieve? Do you know that the more goals you set, the more likely you are going to fail? Don't fall into the trap and believe that you need to set as many goals as possible. Yes, having more goals may sound inspiring, but when it comes to execution, you don't want to split your focus too thin. But don't get me wrong though, I'm not saying that you can't have a hundred goals, just that when it comes to execution, you can't focus on all hundred goals at the same time. Most people have too much on their plate, and that's why they feel overwhelmed and lack motivation to act. They have too many goals and that confuse them and overwhelm them. Don't let this happen to you. My suggestion is to start with just one career or business goal and one personal goal. You see, when you chase two rabbits at the same time, you catch neither. You will lose both. It is much better to focus on just one goal until you achieve it than to have 10 goals but all of them are in progress. One completed project will have more impact on your life than 10 incomplete projects that are ongoing. Therefore, focus on the goals that truly matter to you. Don't overwhelm yourself. Focus on the vital few. And lastly, reason number five, there are too many distractions around you. You can't get things done if you are constantly being distracted. This is common sense, right? Hence, if you want to maintain your momentum and keep your motivation for your goals high all the time, you must get rid of all possible distractions. Let me give you an example. I've seen a lot of people started a blog as a side income. But guess what? They don't maintain their blogs after a couple of months later. And why is that? Because they have been distracted by other shiny opportunity. They start projects after projects, websites after websites, businesses after businesses, but they stick to none. This is what happens when you constantly being distracted by other better opportunity out there. You want to get rid of the shiny object syndrome. And this is why you will have no motivation for your goals because you are, big, you are constantly being distracted by other stuff. You can't focus when you have other projects, other targets, other people, and other more important priorities to focus on, right? Distractions will destroy your motivation. So build a bunker, protect yourself from distractions, cover yourself and be prepared so that you will never get distracted from your goals. These are the five common reasons why most people have goals, but no motivation. Do any of this make sense to you? When you don't feel motivated to work on your goal, there is a reason behind. And your job is to find out the reason and overcome what is stopping you. So, do you now know why you have goals but find it hard to get motivated? Leave your comment below and let me know what you think. If you like this video, smash the like button and share it with people who need to see it. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button right now. Subscribe to my channel so that you will get more updates and videos about success and turning your dreams into reality. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. That's all for now. See ya.